round one, going off into FD, Mega Man stage. Again, it's quite refreshing to see stages like this being picked at times. Tekka, gotta be wary that you can't throw around hitboxes like that too much, even in dubs. Respect with the usual lemons and blade and neutral. Keep his opponents at bay. Of course, the close. Of course, if he lands a lemon up close, that will that will deal no, more knockback and such. So it could help in terms of ledge pressuring. Should he get an opportunity to do so? Tekka doing a good job intercepting Respect's recovery for the most part. I'll save him for just a moment. Nice parry there, but. Caster just caught him out from the Leaf Shield. Cardman Respect definitely, definitely prefers to play a more aerial gameplay with their characters rather than a grounded one. Already an early advantage for Jaxa and Tekka. Oh, those parries! That was lovely from Tekka. It's a shame that he's off stage, but a nice catch with Yoshi Hammer from Kyle. But Jaxter is up, is adding the pressure now. And I guess in terms of having Mega Man as one of your opponents, the fact that the pellets, the pellets far away, does very little damage and very little knockback as well. Just make your character flinch more or less. Less. It's not the. It's not necessarily an entirely bad thing if you if you get hit by it. I have now starting to anticipate what Tekka what Tekka is going for. It seems. But that was a nice follow up there from the. Yeah, the short hop forward there into down smash. Just didn't kill though. But Respect now down to his last stock. I suppose he didn't want to risk going in with an up tilt because of how quickly... Oh, I think he wanted to go for an up tilt. But Toolink has probably one of the best shield pressuring games in Ultimate. He just did not let Respect do anything there. Oh... This judgment there from Respect could be costly. Kyle Stewart doing a good job in terms of keeping his stocks alive. Along with Tekka, actually. Oh, that blade, it caught out Tekka, I think. Yep, he's down. He's out of there. So, Respect and Kyle with the advantage. I suppose around rage percents for Mega Man up here does become a bit of a a bit of a worry for 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 the for the opponents after him. That was a very nice ledge cover. I don't think nope he can't make it back. So Kyop is on his own. But I've seen this man made an incredible comeback against Shido and Jezo. So anything is possible. I think. Not that that kind of scenario comes up a lot, but. You know, it can happen. And he's almost took out Jaxter. He's done a good job in terms of reading his options and such. And that's probably why Akaiof is focusing on Jaxter more than Tekka. Oh, beautiful catch with the Yoshi Bomb. Gotta watch out though. Oh, unlucky for Tekka, but... Kyle did not punish him for it. Maybe he's trying to work out what Sega was going to do. And again, another upbeat interception recovery by the ledge. Very nicely done there by Tekka. Very impressed with how Tekka did, did in that set. We are headed back into the Mega Man stage. Team 
Same characters. Game two scenario. Kyle probably understand that he's better tackling Jaxter, Jaxter than Tekka, so I think he may focus on him more. He already landed a neutral B on. He already landed an Eggle on Jaxter. But Tekka knows. But Tekka knows that Kyle struggles struggles against him, so that's why he's trying to attack Kyle more. Rated a bit, respect rated a bit because of Mega Man's side B bomb was still by ledge, and because he got up, that caused him to get go into hit stun. That does enable Tekka to gain just that little bit of stage control that could be important. Respect just trying to use projectiles to zone out both characters, but Tekka's Young Link is doing a much better job in this set. Oh, he let go of his shield just too late, and that's a good catch there from Jaxter. Both players are clearly in sync with each other, Jaxter and Tekka. Or one of them's or they just seem to be around at the best scenarios to take and stops. Tekka again. With the aerial gameplay pressure. Which has definitely been the highlight of this set, I feel so far. Oh, no, oh, the spike did not kill, and Respect, again, intercepted by Jaxter on that occasion. Went for an up smash, but he caught Kyle there, sadly. Respect, went for an up hit, for, sorry, went for an up tilt, we got a shield break, and Respect finally lands an up tilt. Oh no, oh no. I thought that could have been bad for Respect when he was caught there. I haven't really seen Respect going for a forward smash. I know it's a very risky move to use the neutral as Mega Man, but still, it could be worth a shot. Maybe even just using it once just to see what would happen. Respects seem to be opting for more grounded, grounded stage play, which seems to be working for the most part in keeping his last stock alive. That was a beautiful spike from Jaxter. Back to a similar scenario in game one, except Jaxter with two stocks, obviously. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, no jump. That is it. Pure dominance there towards the end from Jackson and Tekka. Very lovely gameplay from both players. We will now face Carnage and Carrot in Losers Finals.